Hi Collective, what's up? Welcome back. This is Earth Angel 111. Today we're going to give you a reading. Okay. Things are already popping out here. Wow. So we've got Virgo energy off the hop. You may be a Virgo or have Virgo placements. Happy birthday month to all the Virgos out there. Okay, that is a lot, Spirit. We are going to shuffle and get a couple more. Wheel of Fortune, though, first card out. You're about to come into a really big change in your luck. This is going to be a big surprise, you guys. Three of Pentacles there and the Hermit. So a lot of you were directed by Spirit for the last season to possibly isolate, to reevaluate. You guys were looking at something from a approach that may have been not the way to perceive something so maybe this has to do with a situation in your life where you're misunderstanding something i feel like there's going to be a lot of clarity that comes in and this revelation could have to do with family in a sense we've got the empress and the three of pentacles you're about to overcome something huge so congratulations i feel like if you found this message and it resonates you could have been dealing with a third party situation in the past three of cups there so someone who possibly wanted to entertain you and entertain others. And I feel like you decided to put a stop to that. Yeah, look at that. So you could have been dealing with a younger energy, maybe someone who's a few years younger than you. And if not, just someone who is emotionally immature. Wow, two of cups in reverse. So this is someone who like didn't want to settle down, but they kept could have maybe telling you that they did. If you are the Virgo watching, just know that you made the right decision to walk away from someone. And for others of you, it's like you're being rewarded by a spirit from walking away from a one-sided connection. So if you felt like, wow, King of Wands, maybe this person was draining you as well, like financially, emotionally, spiritually. This person could have really just been like taking from you and giving to another person. But look at you're about to reap some type of rewards nine of pentacles to finish this spread wow i haven't seen such a positive message in a second y'all so this will be a collective reading but yeah i definitely feel like whoever you are watching you chose to take a chance on yourself by walking away from someone and if that is currently happening this is what you were meant to do like you pass some type of divine test by choosing yourself by looking inward and for some of you, maybe even chose to not date or to refrain from dating and possibly healing from a third party situation. We've got a lot of threes here. So it looks like whoever you were dealing with previously could have actually been keeping the fact from you that they were dating someone else or even possibly had someone else pregnant. With the Empress there, you could have been dealing with someone who literally had like a low key baby mama on the side if you're a feminine. Or if you're a masculine watching, you could have been the opposite, right? But with the Empress there, someone was pregnant. So I don't know if the person told you this, though, with the Two of Cups in reverse. It's really looking to me like you gave all your love to someone and they were giving it all to someone else. And they could have been not telling you that. So this could be someone you spent a lot of time, money, and resources on only to find out that they were indulging elsewhere, but if you went through that and you know you walked away and you've been kind of self-reflecting, taking some time out, this is your reward from spirit for learning the lesson. For a lot of you, maybe in the past you would have put up with this person or if this is someone you've dated before, you could have possibly kept going through the same cycle over and over again with this person. And it's like you finally learned that this person didn't value you. They put someone else above you. So as much as you were pouring into them, they were ultimately just betraying you behind the scenes. Now, I feel like with all this energy coming out, maybe you guys went through this cycle multiple times with this person until you figured it out. And if not, this is the season where you're figuring it out. This could be someone's confirmation just by listening to this message. Whoo! High Priestess in reverse. So yeah, in the past, not using your intuition. You know, accepting less than you deserved with the Five of Pentacles there. It's almost like Spirit wanted you to wake up. You may hearing wake you up when September ends. You may be a fan of like punk music. And if not, just like literally maybe you were like hoping the situation would just come to a close on its own. 
this is the thing, you know, the most difficult of situations. It's like up to us to accept that some people just don't want to change. And instead of allowing yourself to stay in a blocked negative cycle or situation, you had to choose to move on. So if you did that or you're in the process of doing that, congratulations. I feel like, woo, two of pentacles, eight of swords. This person hasn't even told you the depths of the betrayal that they put you through. So maybe you guys did some research, figured it out on your own, or your intuition could have just been telling you that there was other people that your person was giving to. So Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it's like if you ever gave this person any type of advice, income, spiritual advice, this person was directly taking it to the third party. So they were helping the third party level up off of your energy. Maybe you didn't know this as well. You could have really been under the impression that this person was loyal to you. But yeah, Spirit's revealing it here with the Five of Wands and Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This person could have had multiple people interested in them, multiple people they were giving to. So for some of you, you were dealing with a grade A player. Someone who definitely liked to have their cake and eat it too. But as this cycle comes to an end, just realize if you lived with this person or you were the one possibly like you are expecting with this person, you're going to be okay. You're going to be rewarded by walking away from this person and choosing to love yourself over put up with the bare minimum or put up with someone who doesn't want to be honest with you. I feel like that's the biggest lesson to learn. Maybe some of you guys were trapped in this situation based on pentacles, based on feeling like you'd given so much of yourself to the connection for so long you didn't want to restart when it comes to dating or your life but that's the right move to make here because this person wasn't going to change and if you're not the one expecting there's definitely someone expecting in this situation i feel like this person would never tell you that though wisdom wow confirmation so your reading here is definitely someone's confirmation or you just have the inner wisdom and knowledge especially if you are resonating with being a feminine or divine feminine you know you can just feel that women's intuition or you could pick up on the fact that possibly when they gave to you so much before like things change you just felt like you weren't the only one for others of you you could have smelled this i don't know how to explain that but you know how like when someone comes home, you can smell different smells on them. You could have smelled someone else's perfume or cologne, however it resonates, or someone else's household right on your person. And maybe you noticed too, when they came home a lot, they either needed to shower or they were very unloving towards you. This is someone's indicator that this person was giving to another person. So by the time they'd come home to you, they were drained, they were depleted. And for others of you, if you didn't live with this person, they could have just been spending a lot less time with you, a lot less giving, a lot less planning. Maybe when you first started dating, this person was someone who loved to take you out on dates to make you feel special, have a lot of romanticism between you. And at the end, there could have been barely any physical chemistry, passion, or like if this person did live with you, you could have just felt like the two of you were on opposite ends of the the romantic spectrum so we've got find balance right now it's important for you guys to find balance in this situation you may be feeling very much heartbroken or just depleted i really get the energy if you resonate with not being the person that's pregnant and you're just being betrayed you just feel completely devastated or even just betrayed in the sense that maybe this person promised you a family and then they chose to do it behind your back with someone else spirit wants you to find balance right now i know it may be difficult to overcome but it's like you're being given enough healing from your sources to really let go of this situation and to realize that this person is going to keep betraying people so for some of y'all like this person's going to do it again with the next person that they're dealing with it's almost like they could have a problem with monogamy and that's fine some people aren't interested in monogamy but i feel like whoever you're dealing with they didn't tell you that so that could be what is the betrayal in itself right 
expecting to have a traditional family with your person and then finding out that behind your back they were actually giving to more than just you and to the point where you felt left out in some type of way. If you're not a water sign, there's a lot of emotion behind this whole scenario. And just know too, like whoever they're dealing with, this person's feeling a lot of emotions as well. They may feel like they have the better end of the stick if they have your person. But just know that Spirit's saying like this person's draining themselves by trying to give to so many people at once. So like you're not the only person feeling that energy from them. Okay, so you could be from the UK. Whoa. All right, this makes it interesting, you guys. For some of you, this is a friend of yours. It says that ain't your friend if they slept with your person. So behind your back right now, you guys, this could be someone you were close to at some point in your life. And this person could still be wearing a mask. I feel like for some of you, this person is going to slip up in some type of way and maybe let you know. Or they're going to hide the fact. So, damn, for some of you guys, you're going to find out that this third party was your friend, was pregnant by your person. Okay, any more cards here, Spirit? Well, there we go. So here's a message from your angels. It says, it's time to let go of past traumas. Your angels are giving you all the extra strength to heal all past hurts and traumas at this time. Trust their guidance, y'all. And Greece. So maybe your person went on a trip to Greece with this person. You could be from Greece. Or this person that they were dealing with could be from. But yeah, whoever you guys are watching for, realize the cycle ends when you walk away. And when you walk away, you receive the blessings, y'all, because you chose yourself in a situation where someone wasn't picking you. And if this is a friend as well, this person isn't to be trusted if they are getting with your partner behind your back and not being honest about it. And I think that could be what the whole illusion here is with the Three of Cups and why you would be rewarded so greatly for walking away from this situation. Now, a lot of you, you could really be inner reflecting right now and realizing or you just spent a season doing that and realizing that there were just things that weren't adding up between this friend, between your person. And if this isn't a friend connected to you, it was a friend of theirs. So someone they could have shown or met, like introduced you to and said, this is just a good friend. This is my close friend. This is my work friend, colleague. Um, this is my high school, college, university friend. And in reality, this is someone that they actually either have a child with or are expecting currently. So if this message resonates, I hope it could bring you some peace and clarity and knowing that for some of you, you guys had this inner knowledge or suspicion. And maybe you could feel like a lot of things weren't adding up to what people were saying, whether this was your person or your friend or your person and their friend. It's like there's something that just didn't add up in the situation. Beautiful. So right now, it says longing for home, homestick for the stars. Okay, so for a lot of you, this person's going to come back and they're going to tell you that they miss you, that they are homesick for your connection, for your relationship. Spirit wants you to see through it because karmic relationships, y'all, look at that. For a lot of you, this is a karmic relationship. You could have thought it was a soulmate at one point, but just a friendly reminder for y'all, if someone could betray you and, you know, have a family with someone else behind your back, they are not, in fact, a soulmate. They're definitely a karmic soulmates or something of the sorts wow y'all heavy reading but yeah a lot of you if this message found you it's just to give you that confirmation that you knew and you just needed so let's see if we can get a message from your person close out the reading here says I want to get you all dressed up so this could be someone who dresses very well or they like it when you dress nicely this could be a quality about you that they rather admire and it says can we stop playing games it's not fun anymore so just be aware this person's definitely going to come back and probably try to put some type of blame on you it looks like but spirit wants you to be aware that if 
you know that you don't resonate with being the person who put them in a third party they're going to try and blame you or project on you in some type of way so this is just to make you honestly aware of the whole situation and ultimately it's time to let go it's time to forgive it's time to heal because y'all don't need to you know hold on to that baggage that burden and especially if someone betrayed your trust you could definitely resonate with being an empath and just feeling like whoever this resonates for if this is your story you could have known and maybe this person tried to pretend that wasn't the case and they could have continually manipulated you into believing or even this friend if this was a friend of yours or theirs they could have involved this person to gaslight you or manipulate you into believing what you knew to be true wasn't and it's like you're about to have a revelation that all this happened to show you how valuable you guys are and how much you deserve someone who respects and values you the first time around not someone who tries to play games with you for some of you this person if you're not from greece or they're not they took this person to europe somewhere overseas so that you would not find out about what they did so yeah if this reading resonates just know this is the end of a tough cycle for you guys and i feel like in the next com couple coming weeks things are really going to start to clear themselves out but it's important to you to move past the trauma so you can receive the rewards and the good karma that's owed to you babes so thank you so much for watching you guys have a great night bye